guys, this video is going to be a little bit different. Welcome to a VIP sleeper bus ride. So we're traveling all the way from Ninh Binh to Phong Nha on this bus ride and I have to say I'm kind of feeling like it's luxury. This is the business class of buses. Now this bus ride costs us $39 each roughly. There are a lot of options in terms of going from Ninh Binh to Phong Nha. The other option was to get a train but the train dropped you off I think an hour from Phong Nha and then you'd have to get a taxi which would be like at least 40 Australian dollars. So this was the good option for us. You can do it overnight or you can do it during the day. We chose to do it during the day so we get some productive work done and we'd already booked our accommodation. <laughs> So when we first got in we had to take our shoes off and put them in a bag which is totally fine with me because it means the inside's going to be a lot cleaner. But let me give you a real thorough tour of my little pod. And I'm going to call it a pod because it's really reminding me of the space pods we stayed at in Singapore. If you'd like to see that video I'll link it up here. But just this like blue space type lighting. Obviously the small compartment. It's nicer than the space pod though because look at the window I've got. It's pretty incredible. So. We've shown our bunks, we're both on the bottom, which is pretty good. We can both be the neighbours. It's probably big enough to both lie down in the one pod if we want to have a bit of a movie session. In my pod I have a blanket, a screen. Now the screen, I'm not sure what the use of it is. You might be able to plug in your device through USB and then maybe play that on the screen because you've also got the headphone slot as well, so perhaps that's the purpose of that. There's also at least two USB slots to charge your devices. You have the light switch for that cool blue light above me, but I'm going to keep it on because I really like the way that it looks. The head of my bed has like a little bit of a pillow, so if I was to sleep, like that would be no issue at all. And we also have air conditioning here, the fan is on, it's really, really nice. And that's pretty much it. Welcome to my crib. I'm already feeling a little bit lonely, so let's go pay my neighbour a visit. I hope she's home. No, no, no. This room for two, right? What do you mean? What do you think of your little pod? Okay, she says she just wants to relax. I can take a hint. So weird. Can somebody help me set up a Tinder profile? And I truly have a hard compartment. Why? Kind of think Stacey's got the best of the two of our two bunks because hers is a little bit inclined. So mine's not bad at all, but I'm kind of flat, like completely flat, and Stacey's a little bit inclined upwards. Perfect working environment. Now, as I said, we're on our way to Phong Nha from Nim Bin. That means our Nim Bin videos have come out. Let me know if you've watched them and if you have, comment below and let me know what you liked about them and if not, check them out up here. Now there's also a bathroom on board, I will take it to that when nature calls. But I think that might mean we might not be making any stops, I'm not sure, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, I'm going to get settled in, maybe do a bit of work and just um, enjoy the ride I suppose. It's pretty awesome because even if you are traveling during the day, just all you, if you want to sleep, all you need to do is pull down this shade and your little compartment becomes pretty pretty dark. You don't even really need an eye mask. For some reason, I'm feeling like way more motion sick than I normally do on a bus and I thought it wouldn't be the case if I'm lying down, but just a little, it was interesting to note that I am feeling really motion sick and I'm very, very thankful that we picked up heaps of motion sickness tablets in Hanoi. But something to be mindful of if you are considering doing a bus like this and you do get motion sickness, definitely bring some motion sickness supplements. So during my drive on highways, it's a lot bendier than I would have thought, and we're really rocking all over the place. So I'm thankful we have these seatbelts that fit over you, not only when you're sitting up, but also when you're lying down. Otherwise, I'm pretty confident I'd be rolling outside of my little pop. Okay, I just got back from going to the bathroom and look, it was totally fine. Kind of like an aeroplane bathroom, obviously really small. Only struggle was that because we're going so fast and wobbling all over the place, I really struggled to kind of get my way in there and close the door but once I was sitting down. All good. Okay, we're a few hours in. I've done some editing, feeling pretty happy with myself. Had a little bit of a snooze, 
now I'm gonna have a bit of relaxation time, watch the iPad, I have no idea what I've got downloaded because Disney Plus doesn't work in Vietnam, so it's whatever's on my Netflix. Also I have to say that those motion sickness tablets are like miracle workers because I was feeling so sick and within like 45 minutes I felt totally fine. So now it's time for lunch. And just like that we have arrived look it wasn't a bad bus ride at all but if you're gonna do it I would recommend picking up some snacks for the journey because you stop off at one spot but there wasn't a lot of food options so we were starving make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because we have a lot planned for Fong night and you don't want to miss it thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye check out our video on Hanoi's quirkiest cafes down there on the left or if you want to see our time in Ha Long Bay click down on the right see you in the next video